Now the next problem is using integration find the area of the triangular that is triangle triangular region whose vertices are Four comma one, six comma six, and eight comma four. So we have to find the area of the triangle formed by the three vertices. So first of all, let A is four comma one, B is six comma six, and C is eight comma four. Let's draw and make a diagram. That is a required triangle. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. We have to find four comma one. This is one. This is four. So this is a. The next point is six comma six. So we take the point six and consider this is six. So this is a point B, and next point is eight comma four. So this is eight, and consider this is four. So this is C. So join these three points. So we have to find this area. There are two methods. The one method is to find. The equation of line that will give y1, y2, y3 that is f1, f2, f3 uh, functions. Then you will consider this whole area, whole of trapezium. Then this whole area. Then minus this area. This is the first way to do this. And another way that is a very simple. As we have three vertices of the triangle, we have to find the area of the triangle. So that is area of triangle. ABC is half of modulus of D, where D is x1 y1, x2 y2, x3 y3, and in the third column we have to write 1 1 1. We learn this method in the chapter of determinant. That is, D is equal to by expanding through row 1, 4 into 6 minus 4, minus 1, 6 minus 8, plus 1, 24 minus 48. So we get 4 into 2 is 8, minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2, 24 minus 48 is minus 24. So we get 10 minus 24, that is minus 14. Therefore, Required area is half of modulus of D. That is half of modulus of minus 14. So we get half of 14. That is 7. Therefore required area of triangle ABC is seven square unit. Now the next problem is that is problem number 4. Find the area of the region bounded by the curve y is equal to x square plus 2 y is equal to x x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 0. So we have to find the area between the curve and the line y is equal to x and x is equal to c and x is equal to 0. So first of all, let 
y is equal to x square plus 2 is equal to f1x. That is x square is equal to y minus 2. So to get intersected points of this with the x-axis and y-axis. So put x is equal to 0, we get y is equal to 2. That is a is 0, 2. And put x is equal to 3, the intersection point of line x is equal to 3 and the curve. That is y is equal to x square plus 2, 9 plus 2 is 11. Therefore, b is equal to 3, 11. And also, put x is equal to 3 in second curve, that is y is equal to x, say f2x, we get y is equal to 3, that is a point c, that is 3, 3. So, as the curve is x square is equal to y minus 2, so it is the parabola that intersect y axis at the point 0, 2. So we are going to draw first of all parabola that is at 0, 2 that is the A point. Now we have to cut x is equal to 3. That cut the given curve y is equal to x1 x at the point 3, 11 that is the point B. And we draw the line that is y is equal to x passing through x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and cut this at the point C that is 3, 3. So we have to find the reason is that this is the required reason. So if we see here F1 X curve is upper curve and the Y2 curve, F2 X curve is that is F2 X, that is F1 X. This is the upper curve and this is the lower curve. And range is from 0 to 3. Therefore required, therefore required area A is A is equal to 0 to 3 F1 X minus F2 X over dx that is 0 to 3 x square plus 2 minus x dx that is x cube over 3 plus 2x minus x square by 2 over 0 to 3. So we get 27 over 3 plus 6 minus 9 by 2 that is upper limit minus 0 plus 0 minus 0 that is 0 by putting lower limit. So we get here by taking the LCM that is 6 we get here 54 plus 36 minus 27. So we get all over 63 over 6 that is on the table of 3 we get 21 over 2. So that is a required reason between the curve line and x is equal to 3.